excuse me. Well, you guessed it. Okay, we'll lose it here. And I'm going to be teaching uh, Rajeo de la Noche. Um, it's one of my own compositions. Uh, it starts off a little bit tragic. It gets a little bit upbeat. And I composed that a few years back. And yesterday was the first time that I actually recorded it with one of my pro microphones and uh, with another extension. And I have managed to put my third song for sale. Let me continue and say that I apologize for anyone out there who wants to use something other than PayPal but uh, I've been having the YouTube channel for now five years and uh, it was the easiest way but uh, I talked with a lot of you guys out there and you told me that uh, maybe you have problems for the region PayPal is not in your country or other reasons and um, I respect that and it will take time maybe a week maybe a month I'll have to study about it and how to do it PayPal has that option as well but uh, they take a lot of a big chunk off of it so please be a little bit patient and if you like to support by donation there's still only PayPal but I will get to it now remember one thing all the websites you see and uh, the comments that I talk to about 100 200 people a day uh, it's one person and uh, I wish I could talk to everybody I wish I could have the time and uh, I always go every day back to my old messages even two months before and I reply to some of that as well but uh, you could push through I've got email uh, at yahoo.com I've got Alexander Ziacovidis Facebook profile so if you really need something that I could help you with or contact me you can find the way alright everything is in the description of this video also the purchase link <laughs> all right now what we have rajeo rajeo is in short for rasqueado in flamenco rasqueado is the ways of doing rapid strokes this one is the abanico then you've got a triple rajeo double upwards which is my style and because this one involves a lot of rajeo techniques rasqueado techniques and it was a night when I was filming it, I just named it Rajel de la Loche. And I'm not sure if the abbreviation, the way I put things together in Spanish is correct, but it sounds cool. Now, try to get with your left hand an E minor. Now, I've got an HD camera of that I'm using here for, there we go. So I can actually zoom in where I need to. There we go. Now, right here are E minor. Now remember my guitar is dropped a half a tune, uh, a half a tone lower. So if this was the E, this is the D sharp now. If this is the B, it's one more back, so it's the A sharp. And after that is the B. So it's one tone more back every string. I don't know, it just feels a little bit more tragic in that tone. So with this E minor, you're going to use your thumb, pulgar, and you're going to play the 6th and the 5th string to stick your badass finger right there the skin inside and your index and imagine that you're on a table and you want to flick flick something let's say like a little ball like here flick flick practice that be careful don't hurt yourself or the guitar this gives a good sound to see if they're all right and you want to flick only this base by putting this part of your hand right there and you want to Pick it. You see the vibration there. This is quite easy. It's just a little falsetta, a little melodic part on the bass, which is one, two, three on the fifth string on the second fret. Then on the third fret, go back again on the second. Sorry, open. but I'm going to use one, two, three fingers, not these two. And then one more triple, but it's not going to be so metronomic like the bass. It's going to be 
little bit more messy and more towards the center of the strings. I want a little bit of the tremolo sound. Okay? And then... It's not so hard, but you're going to have to learn to shape a chord with it. So let's go slowly on it. One, two, three again on the second fret of the fifth string. Go more down. Then you're going to play the third bass, that's the third string from the top. Press the second fret on that bass with the middle finger and place at the same time your ring finger on the second fret of the third string and then your index on the first fret of the second string and your pinky, <laughs> I know, bear with me, on the second fret of the first string. And we have a D7 if I remember correctly, so it is. This is Arajeo, which uh, I've seen only one flamenco guitarist do, but he was moving from these joints and he was flexing this. And that was a, quite a famous guitarist and when I saw it I was like, wow. Now, I started this technique years ago, I was always wondering if the Arajeo goes down, if with the index we can go up, why cannot we go up, 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 so we have one, two, three, four, five, six very very fast hits. I can also apply this in just these two. Down with the middle, badass finger, down with the index, and then up with the middle, up with index. So it forms a beautiful loop. So when you get that, you really want to try it, not to just play it fast. Fast and clean are two different things. So you want to play it very slow. And try to get even beats. Then you will create bigger muscles. Because that is the feel of this rajero as well, is that it slowly, slowly goes faster. You don't want to go because people will get shocked. What was that? And jump off the chair, as Segovia said in his interview. When you hear a flamenco, there's just attack without a preparation from before. So you want to go. And then we have. So let's go to that one. Now we're 10 minutes on the clock, I'll spend about 5 more minutes and complete this lesson so you guys don't have over information. Practice it nice and slow and I'm sure you'll all be playing it and posting it in no time. So, here we go. 3 times again, on the 3rd bass on the 2nd fret. Open, press again down. Slide on the 4th fret. 5th. Now lift up, open. Form a C chord. You don't really want to hit the. I usually don't hit the E here. More tragic. And then I do again arasqueado, arajeo, which is the abanico. I've got about two or three videos on abanico in my channel, guys. And go check them out. artists I know they like to have down strokes down strokes which gives a beautiful accent but in time because when I had this surgery uh, it really paralyzed my hand 30% so the right hand cannot really flex more than this unless if I relax it so it's not really of good use to me so when I was for about a year without the movement of my fingers I only had this one rigid like that so I learned to play So uh, as I 
heard also from a, a beautiful flamenco artist who said to me that you can play with the thumb all day. It's just like using a pick. Professional guitarists play only with a pick. So don't say no to down and up strokes. Just try to keep this rigid and stiff. It can give you a lot of flexibility than just down strokes, in my opinion. There, the triple, which I got lost over explaining again. Then when I press on the second fret, I do a bend. It creates a beautiful wah wah effect. Lift it up, shape an E chord. Alright. Then we have when you hear that open string, you're gonna press on the seventh fret. And slide up. Then you're gonna form the A minor and pluck and click <laughs> and click and pluck the top and the bottom string. That will be the introduction of your of your rumba compas. So instead of a bass for your one or um, stroke for your one or the whole strum. Try to avoid it and just use the top two strings. And then that's a little bit off. Alright, again on the seventh fret and then I do four note a quadruple. How do I do that? Again with the same um, mentality that we go down, down, up, up as we explained before. I do the same thing again, believe it or not, on the one string. Tuck, 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 tuck. Then I go on the eighth fret and I pick one more time. On the fifth fret, seventh fret, the same slide as the first time. And then we're gonna use the index on the seven. Use the ring finger. I've got a reason for that. You'll see later on. I know it's not supposed to be squeezed like that and leave the middle finger off, but. Then I went to the 8th, then to the 10th. That's why I had the ring finger, so I could have just slide on the 2nd fret, keep the ring finger there and place the index on the 1st fret again of the 2nd string, the badass finger on the 3rd string on the 2nd fret, and that gives us our D7 again. Gonna slide all the way to the twelfth. And I know maybe this is probably not a good spot to stop, but you have enough to work on, guys. And I did stop halfway or three times way to explain a lot of techniques. I played it right through in the beginning, so you guys can uh, hear it. If some of your advanced players can just pick it up by watching a close up, and. Uh, I'll be getting ready to do the second lesson and post it for you guys. This takes a lot of hard work and dedication as you know and you guys have been around for so many years and uh, supporting me as well so that takes a lot of effort from your behalf to always check how I'm doing and join me on Facebook and I appreciate it. And if some of you cannot give donations because of PayPal, don't worry, just a simple like or a beautiful comment as you always guys do, it's more than enough for support. Thank you very much. See you in the next video, guys.